glad you said Mr. Drake, because this whole calling you Mr. Drake, it seems so Alfred Hitchcockian for some reason. <laughs> yeah, the whole play it's has like Mr. That. That's why I get the thriller. It's like this, oh, Mr. Okay. why don't you call me this person? Mr. Drake, it's like very, I'm still 14. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, right. I was like, why is he calling Mr. Drake? <laughs> This is really messing with my mind, right? <laughs> well, well, life, well, life did stop for both of them at that point. He, I am still Mr. Drake, and he is still 14-year-old Thaddeus. Yes, I mean, I, you really get that. And that's what's mm -hmm. eerie about it. Here mm -hmm. we're supposed to be adults, and he's still mm -hmm. Mr. Draking you. Yeah, there's a lot of eerie that's, that's, I'm telling you, I got yeah. that. I was like, this is some kind of psychological mm -hmm. thriller with no one getting killed thing. Right, like, what's right. What's happening? Well, the, to me, those are, the, those are my favorite thrillers, you know, the ones where people don't die. Oh, let me tell you. you know, eyes of Oh, well, no, I love them. They, they die in Eyes of Mars. But that was one of my favorite thrills. Like, I love thrillers is my favorite. Mm -hmm. you know, where something happens for a reason as opposed to this mess and people just dying, heads flying. Yeah, right, right. It's because I'm psycho, right? <laughs> <laughs> so tell me something else as an actor. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm an introvert, so. <laughs> I'm just yeah, I'm right. Just okay. okay. <laughs> How many weeks did it take you guys to get off book with this? I mean, this is basically... It's a lot of dialogue. <laughs> two 45-minute you know, monologues back and forth. How long is the show? About an hour and 15 minutes? Uh, uh, about uh, well, well, an hour. Uh, maybe an hour and a half. Hour and a half. Yeah. OK, so you guys, are, an hour and a half. you guys are both starring in it, I mean, honestly, yeah. right? It's not like the star I'm, of... I'm going to tell you, both. when I sat down and wrote this, if I would have thought that I was going to end up playing the role, I wouldn't have written that much dialogue. <laughs> You know, that's, that's a hell of a lot of dialogue. I mean, I've, I've, got, I've, got, I've got one five-page speech. I mean, so how long did it take you to get off the book? Uh, how long did it take us to, to get off the book? I don't think it was, like, really that long. I mean, we were both, like, wearing so many hats. I mean, yeah. looking back, it's like, wow, we really did all of that. Because yeah. he was producing and starring, and I was, you know, writing and directing and starring. Mm -hmm. So, you know, uh, you know, because it's just save money, you know. So yeah, I think by the time we actually started rehearsal, um, we were both pretty much off. Like the oh, first time I saw you. him do the monologue in rehearsal, I was like, oh, for God, you got that already? <laughs> well, so how long was that after you had, I mean, was that two weeks, three weeks? I mean, you know, I've done plays before. It's just, it it's, takes me a month or so to get my little lines right, you know? Well, it, I, I would say, it, it probably, I mean, for us to really get the lines, it, it probably took us a month. But, but, but a lot of that came not in rehearsal because we were working separately. A lot of times, you know, because of our schedules and, and different things, that we didn't really have a lot of one-on-one of -on -one rehearsals. We would just sit and just study, study our scripts mm. separately. Wow. And then we would come together and, and do the actual rehearsals. Sure, sure. So, so, I'm, so to put a, a number on, I would say maybe about four weeks. Wow. That it's is a, it's a, absolutely and amazing. It's, and it's, you know, and the word, there are a lot of tricky words in there because I love speech. Yes, I can tell. Yeah. I love the wording. Yeah, and yeah I, I'm just, I, I'm so into that. It's I'm like such a... grammatically correct. <laughs> I mean, you know. Well, I love, well, I love poetry. I, right. I, I, you know, so, so these characters speak in a sort of a nasty, poetic, right. bless, bless you, you. Yeah. Right. sort of, sort it's of way. Can you bleep that out? <laughs> no, we're keeping Sorry. that rich. <laughs> Toy Scroggins sneezed. Okay. <laughs> so, I mean, uh, one last question about the kind of sort of play in general. You kind of weave this sexual tension in, too. So, I thought it was very intriguing. The father, I mean, had this. I love the kind of sort of play atmosphere because the audience is left to think of whoever the father is. Everyone had a different vision of what the father was. Of course, I'm thinking, big Bo Jacks, you know. The father is off the chain, right? And I'm thinking, this mother, he's all in there. What the heck? What? I'm getting jealous because my idea of what the father is, right? It's almost, because you're just planning on maybe putting it on film, right? So you're going to have your idea of the father is going to mess my idea up. <laughs> um, well, well, see, well, I mean, if I, if I did it on, if, if I did it on film, I actually, I, I would always have, uh, there would be faraway shots of the father, long shots okay. of the father. The only time we would ever actually hear or see the father would be in the very end of the play. So we wouldn't see scenes of you guys together in the, what it was? You would, you, you would see, you would, you would see the characters because the thing is that their descriptives are, are as such that, that no one can live up to the descriptions of the That's father. That's right, because the father is... You know. Yeah, okay, and, and that's because, and, and I'll tell you, and, and I'll tell you where. Handsome, it's yeah. gotta be some big, but but you know what? <laughs> Here's a perfect example of using powerful off-screen characters. I think the best use of that was in *Raising the Sun*. 
Mm. Now, with all those characters on stage, who was the, mo who was the most important character in that whole the play? Father, wasn't was it? the father, yeah. who yeah. we never saw, yes. but who, who just made everything happen in that yeah, play. And I just thought play. that what, what Lorraine Hansberry did with that, that device was brilliant. was brilliant. Yes, it was. Yeah. It was. You're absolutely right. I mean, we all had our thought of what the father, who he was, mm -hmm. how big his hands were, and how he smacked <laughs> upside down. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Like wow, this man is off the chain. Every well, day hey, they're hey, I'm gonna tell you, you know, when I when I saw Raising the Sun, <laughs> I knew it as far as because any man who could produce a man as fine as Sidney Poitier was at that age, right? That's true. I, you know, I already had my fantasy. I guess my thing. Was, I was looking at Sean Puffy Combs, right? That's a different oh, thing. Oh, right? oh, that's all that, different. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nothing, nothing, whole nothing, different nothing, father, nothing, right? Nothing, nothing, <laughs> I'm sorry, Sean. We love you if you're watching yeah, GBM but, News, baby. See, I'm gonna tell you, <laughs> I was in love with. I've been in love with Sidney Poitier when, since I was like 11 years old. Okay, so you see the young city portrait in your head, don't you?